What comes to mind when I say the phrase video editing? A comfortable chair, decent headphones, editing app, a tasty beverage. and hours and hours of assembling footage to put together a funky fresh video that you can't wait to share with the world. You are not wrong. Editing is all of those things. But there is this one step that makes every other step in editing more fun and exciting. And that step is shooting to edit. If you have heard that phrase before, you know what a game changer it is. If you haven't heard this phrase before, what I mean by shoot to edit is having the edit in your mind while you are shooting the video. What this also means is that the process of editing begins long before you actually sit down in front of your computer. Let's say you're shooting a product video. Visualizing the edit allows you to know that you have to start with a dramatic shot to set the mood. Then you introduce the product, spend some time with it, get some tasty close-ups, show the product in motion, and then it's time to end the video with a bang. If you've done this right, by the time you import the footage into your computer, half the work is already done. When you're shooting a fashion film at an outdoor location, it is important to highlight the ways in which the clothes and the location sync with each other. Now, if you haven't planned these shots in advance, you may end up spending a lot of time just focusing on the models or the garments without paying enough attention to the location or the context in which this film is being made. Another example of how shoot to edit works really well for the benefit of your video is if you are planning to employ a graphical element in the film. Planning to use stylized text, reframe the shot accordingly, leave more headroom or move the subject to one side of the screen so that you can place your graphics or text without causing any visual confusion. If this type of shot will only last a few seconds and you need to go to a more traditional framing for the rest of the shot or the rest of the video, because you have planned for the edit, you will remember to capture multiple options so that the film can flow as intended. Making videos can be either moderately stressful or extremely stressful. More often than not, that difference comes down to whether or not you incorporated shoot to edit into your pre-production workflow. What are the time or money saving tips you have incorporated into your workflow? Share them in the comments below so that we can all benefit going forward. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are already subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can be notified when our next video goes online. Thank you for watching.